Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we will be looking into how to import Swagger files in Postman. So before we start, let's try to understand what is Swagger. So Swagger is basically used for documenting the API's detail. It can be the API endpoint, what type of request it is, what are the different parameters you're going to pass, okay? How would uh, the the body of the payload look like? Okay, what would be the response? What are the error messages you are going to get and so on? Okay, so for this video, I'm going to take an example of uh, uh, petstore.swagger.io. Okay, it consists of all the details or some of the details uh, of the pet. Okay. So here, if you can see, there are different types of requests, which is like post, put, get, delete, and so on. Okay, and it is going to uh, kind of uh, update the details or post the details of uh, pet or uh, related to the stores or the user information. Like you can create a user, you can get the user details, okay, update the user or delete the users and so on. And if you expand some of these uh, uh, requests, you will come to know what are the different information you have to pass on. Let's say here, the pet ID is the required uh, data which you need to provide and rest other are optional. Okay, and what would be the response uh, code and so on. Okay, so to import this uh, swagger into Postman, I need the uh, Swagger URL. So I'm going to copy this URL, which is given by this website, and uh, go to my Postman, click on Import option. It is going to open a window where I will see all different type of imports, like file, folder, link, raw text, and code repository, and so on. Here, you need to go to link, okay, and just paste the, uh, the Swagger URL. Click on continue, okay, it is just going to confirm the Swagger name, okay, which, uh, what, what would be the name of the Swagger and then uh, format and then import as. Just click on import. It is just going to import the Swagger file. The Swagger file is uh, Swagger post, uh, pet store. If you expand this, you are going to see the details uh, which we, uh, we were seeing on the, uh, pet store uh, swagger file online here like we had this pet then we had store and then user information right so these three you are getting here okay and then the different type of uh, endpoints which you were having the pet id the post put request get and get uh, get by tags and so on okay let's say uh, find pet by status Okay, and uh, uh, here you are just giving the uh, state uh, status of the pet which are available. Okay, and just click on send. It is going to give you a response with this status code. Okay, so uh, this is one of the easiest way of importing all the uh endpoints into your postman some of the times uh like these are the document which are readily available uh, or made available by developers to you okay and you can easily import and start writing your test in other cases like these swagger files are not available then in in that case you need to uh, create the collection uh add different folder structures let's say pet store user and then add different type of request. Okay, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching.